Okay, snack taste test take two. Um, so we tried to do this and my camera uh, ran out of space. So you can't prove that. First try. Uh, I have the audio still. Crap. Cut to a clip. I don't think our Butterfinger had sex with a Milky Way. It pooped on the floor. Uh oh. Oh. What? <laughs> um, anyway, we'll we'll try to go quick. Uh, we cut down a few of the bad snacks, um, and luckily we still have some of the rest. So we have a uh, resident Canadian, Magic Zenith here. Opa, bonjour. Canadian. That's French Canadian. Canadian! Oh. Sorry, eh? <laughs> Thank you. You have one job. <laughs> um, I have two. Anyway. Uh, so yeah, we have a few different snacks here. Um, I'll just go through them as we eat them. Save some time. But first, we're going to start with the O. Henry. Which? There's not much left because it's actually pretty good. Um, oh, dang it, I did We it can just bite into it because he's had it before and we've only got a little yeah. bit. Yeah. So. Well, Sorry. Right. Here's some chocolate bits. Sorry, eh? Sorry. Eat the scraps and like it. Sorry. You guys apologize more than I do. Oh, yeah. It's mm. a Midwestern thing. We do it, too. Yeah. So... <laughs> like I said before, even though you didn't know. Um, <laughs> a lot of our Irish candies that we tried a few years ago for our honeymoon were like just variations of things that we, you know, had at home. Like Milky Way and things like that. But this is like totally different. It's like kind of a, like a turtle candy bar. Yeah, it is like a turtle. What we would consider a turtle yeah. in the state. So like, it's got chocolate, peanuts, and caramel. So yeah, that's a turtle. Yes. But it's but nougat. It's, yeah, it's, it's um... New, it's... It's got nougat. It's different. Yeah. Caramel and nougat are different. Don't even try. Yeah, what I like about it is that it's <laughs> not over and overpowering flavor. I mean, yeah. It's just right. Like, it's something that, like, if you have, like, a whole bunch of, like, s small candy bars, you can just, like, just keep having them. Mm -hmm. Do you want to hand me the other two real quick? Just... And it's something <clears throat> you can yell in bed. If you're... If your partner's name is Henry. Oh, Henry! No other times, please. Oh, Henry! We also have Wonder Bar, which is actually really good, but we're not gonna try it because we ate most of it. Um, and it's it really messy. messy. But it's like, it's like those like peanut butter thingies uh, wrapped in like caramel and chocolate. It's actually super good. I don't know what he's talking about, but I think it tastes like a Butterfinger with a nougat. Butterfinger works too. Crumbly peanut butter with nougat and or with caramel and chocolate. It's cool. Um, and then... We have a big Turk. The Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. There's a Mirage, which is garbage. Don't eat it. Yeah. We're not yeah. going to... It tastes like chocolate waste. Yeah. It's like you put chocolate around a beehive and then try to call it candy. Yeah. Don't eat it. But it doesn't taste like candy. It's just a wasp's nest. It tastes like nothing. It's like um, chocolate and I forgot, wasp nest. I also have a beer, um, which is kind of cool. I, I got it because I like the can and I like stouts. But if they don't let me take this on the plane, I'll be sad, but I'll throw it away. Yeah. He's gonna try to smuggle. And then the next candy. It's, he's a, he's like a like an escaped. Rude. Yeah, he's a convict. Yeah, so I'm gonna smuggle a convict into the country. Yes. There's nothing wrong with that. Absolutely not. Please don't use this audio against me. Um, the next candy we have is Big Turk. We're not sure if it's Canadian or not, but I've said it's something. something. I don't even know what it is. Yeah. It says, it. um, Turkish Delight, or whatever. Is it like a sex thing? <laughs> I got you. My hands don't work. I'll hold the candies. So yeah, we got a big Turk we're gonna put Open in our mouths. It, uh, above the floor. Yeah, but he's <sighs> making a mess. On do I have two wives now? Yes, yes you do. You were good in bed last night. Well in Canada. It's, it's ribbed for someone's pleasure. <laughs> gonna break off of. Ew! What is that? <laughs> it's so gross. What is that? Ew! It's Turkish Delight. Ew, ew. This is the thing that, what's his face from, um, from, um, The Lion, the Witch, and the Robot? <laughs> <laughs> yes, that classic movie, yes. The Lion, the Witch, and the Robot. <laughs> you know, a wardrobe, like, gave away his siblings for it. Ew, I can't even, I'm gonna buy it. It's gummy. Ew! Covered in chocolate. Ew! I didn't want to spoil it for you. Ew! 
Oh, just, it's awful. Just bite it. No, no, try it. You have to. It's weird. Alright. This thing is wild. What the hell is this? What even? It's like... It's like Swedish berries in yeah. chocolate. Yeah. Oh, Why it is like a Swedish fish covered in chocolate. It is. But like very favorite. What in the name of Hedgy is this thing? Hedgy, what'd you do? <laughs> it's actually not that bad once you swallow it. So once it's not in your mouth anymore. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> yeah, I kind of steamrolled over she that one. I'm sorry. <laughs> I've had alcohol off camera. Basically what you just said is when I'm not eating it anymore, it's not that bad. <laughs> The aftertaste is really good. The bird. It's fruity. Mm. Okay. Um, next we have... My favorite chocolate. A coffee crisp. Yeah. My favorite. Um, this is like what the, most people requested us try. This and the all-dressed chips. So I'm excited. And it's in two pieces, so we can just share this one. I'm I mean, like, you can have this one. I don't want can... the full... Yeah, do you yeah. want this? No, you go ahead. No, I can split this with him. She probably won't like it. Go ahead, it's your favorite. We're sharing kind of people. Yeah. Thoughts? Hmm. It's light. I don't really get the coffee that much. I do. I don't like coffee. I know. But it's, it's nice and light and airy. It's like a, like a hazelnut Kit Kat. I can see that with a little coffee taste. Yeah. It's nice. I taste coffee. I don't know if there's coffee in it or not, but... Who knows? What do you mean? I, I mean, I, just, I don't think the coffee should be, like, the defining characteristic of it. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Like, it doesn't seem to be the strongest part. But it's good. I'll eat the rest later. But I like that one. Next, we have Smarties. Which, America has Smarties. But they're mm -hmm. not these. Yeah, they're drastically different. So, I'm curious. Are they if like... you've never heard of American Smarties, they're basically sweet chalk yeah. that you eat. And I think these are supposed to be more like sweet tarts. Like what we call sweet no, tarts. No, they're chocolate. Yeah, they are? To... They're chocolate. They're chocolate? Yeah. I didn't realize that. It's yeah. Just... They look like sweet tarts. Or like shockers. Oh my god. Shockers. Shockers are great. Hmm. So... There's extra crunchy M&M's. They're sixlets. They're giant sixlets. Yeah. They're not that special. No. No. Like, that's why I, they're no, nothing special about them. Hmm. Not a household name, but just, they're just there. They yeah. I you gotta try them, like, as an American to see the difference between our yeah. Smarties. I prefer the chalky American Smarties, honestly. No. I love anything that tastes like chalk. Why don't you just lick um, a chalkboard? Yeah. I, I've licked chalk before when I was little. Alright, excuse me while I loudly open these off camera. So, all those chips is um, actually one of my favorite flavors. Alright, um, sniff test? Oh. Mmm! That's a good sniff test. That smells vinegary, but also like spicy. Yeah. Like there's a spice to it. That's really good. Like mild barbecue chips. Yeah. This is basically what we season most of our food with. Like onion, pepper, salt. <laughs> yeah. Took like potato. A little bit of vinegar. Yeah. Like mm. it's really nice and uh, not overpowering it's or subtle. too dominant mm. of, um, of any kind of particular flavor. Like, yeah. Um, I've actually had, I recommend mm. this to my uh, friend from Ohio that you met mm -hmm. over the weekend. And, this um, is good. We had some in the States. He's like, here, try this. It's a, is it? Because uh, it was in Cleveland, and it said uh, imported from Canada. So she tried it. She's like, oh, I don't like this. Mm. What? It's awesome. So I tried it myself. I wanted to throw up. <laughs> but then she tried it this weekend when she was visiting, and she actually really enjoyed it. Yeah. So. This is Canad Canada's very own. You'll enjoy this bag of... Ruffles all dressed chips. If you enjoy unique Canadian food, it was invented here after all. Why'd you emphasize the ruffles? Because it's a name brand. 
And I think it's an American brand. So you're seeking something sweet and salty and savory all in one bag. You'll love eating chips that will make your taste buds feel like they are going to explode. Oh, that's a little extreme. I feel all of those, but also I'm a little bit tipsy, so. All right. Cheers. So last but definitely not, ooh, that is a strong. The smell came off before I could finish speaking. Um, last but definitely not least, the obviously most requested Canadian snack. Apparently we got ketchup the, chips. We got the wrong brand. Yeah, we're supposed to get Lay's. It's her fault, but. It's fine. We'll still try it. It's fine. It's a very strong scent, yeah. st scent test, though. I prefer Lay's ketchup. These, um, I mean, I'll eat them, but I won't go crazy over them. Now you... It's... No. That doesn't taste like ketchup. No. no that that, that ain't chief. That tastes like dill. Uh-uh. Let me see how different these are from Lay's. Does this taste like if you get food other than waffles at yeah, Waffle House? Yeah, honestly, you know, I wouldn't eat this. And I actually like ketchup chips. Uh -huh. So yeah, this tastes like if you get anything other than waffles at Waffle House. It's just that kind of like, it tastes like food, but it's... Ugh, the beer didn't get it out of my mouth. Not great. This is like, if you grab the ketchup from the back of the fridge <gasps> after like a few years, and you're like, hmm, this is probably still good. No, if you, And then you dip your fries in it, and it's not. No, if you find the ketchup packets that you left in your glove compartment two years mm, ago, yeah. and you really need ketchup, yeah. it tastes like that. Or, oh, uh, you know that dried ketchup um, that you can put on your popcorn at the theaters? What? what? Yes, apparently it's a thing. I've... This video's not over. We have to go to a movie theater immediately. Yeah. <laughs> Why am I still eating these? I don't know, you I'm... monster. I thought they would have the all dress chips. They're good. Bye. <laughs> Why are the smarties still here? <laughs> um, because they're smart. All right. So yeah, that's our that's our snacks. Um, do you have a favorite? We know we know Zena's favorite. Yeah. Um, Coffee Crisp is definitely my favorite chocolate bar. I would say mm -hmm. tied with the old Henry bun. Mm -hmm. But um, I do like the Lay's brand ke ketchup chips because it's actually more prominent. Does I don't know, it doesn't taste, because that was like really vinegary and didn't have like ketchup uh, flavor, so I don't know. Yeah. He's, you... my, he's my favorite. Yeah. They're really tasty. I'm sad that we probably won't finish them all. <laughs> yeah. I'll just eat them on the way to the airport. These might be okay on the airport, I don't know. Also, I really like the old Henry. I can see its appeal. Yeah. So. I think I think mine's actually the same. Oh, the yeah. Wonder Bar is really good, but I think the O Henry and these are are the top choices. Mm -hmm. But I know there's stuff we missed. Um, there's some things we couldn't find. There was maple cookies at some stores, but they were stupid expensive for what they were, and we didn't want to spend the money on them. Sorry. Um, Sorry. Sorry. But, hey, if anyone wants to, you know, like send us snacks, I'll take them. Send them your money. <laughs> but anyway, this has been fun. I always like trying out snacks. Um, how's the beer? Oh, it's good. It's I mean it's it's a very light stout. Like honestly, all I can taste is the ketchup chips right now. All I can. But taste it's it's beer. fine. I like the can more than I like the beer. I'll say that. So the question that I have for you uh -huh. is um, if they had all dressed and. And it tasted like this. Hurt. Sorry. So if you had uh, really? all dress uh, chips in um, from where you're from, mm -hmm. would you actually order it? I would get those. Yeah. Yes. I would get those. I don't eat chips a lot. Yeah, we don't really. But eat chips like, a lot. they would actually be really good with like a like a uh, ranch dip. So I'd eat them with that. Yeah. Americans love dipping shit in other things. It's true. Actually. Uh, to my surprise, you know the tostitos, uh, tortilla chips, right? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. um, Big and fan. You, and you'd like put um, sauce in them, right? Mm hmm. But apparently, I was in the UK, and instead of uh, dunking tortilla chips, you dunk Doritos in salsa. And it was okay, like, huh? really yeah. powerful. I'm, oh, yeah. 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 It I'm mixes good. up the flavor profile. I'm oh, yeah. in all this. Yeah. It's, it's pretty good. I've 
if you ever want to come to America and I've been to dip, America dip <laughs> like your, four times this year. Well, you haven't dipped your Get chips. Get better at it. You haven't <laughs> dipped your chips and things. All right, let us know your favorite snacks in the comments or wherever. Um, you can, you know, tweet them at us, too. She doesn't have Twitter, so don't tweet at her. No. But, uh, yeah, that's all we got. So Last thing, last request, you have to sing my national anthem. No. No. It's A-A-A. Oh, Canada. A-A. Where Beavers maple syrup rains. <laughs> and... I'm so glad Mooses are abundant. I'm so glad they're going on tomorrow. And Catch also, chips. it snows a lot. Duh. Things. <laughs>